That's bloody brilliant. It might be actually gold. We are seeing some quantities of gold. The winds were howling and the waves were crashing against the rocky shores of Oak Island. The atmosphere was tense as the Oak Island team delved deeper into the Money Pit area. Everyone knew that they were inching closer to a mystery that had confounded treasure hunters for centuries. And then, just as they thought they were out of luck, a trace of silver and gold caught their attention. The team couldn't believe their eyes. They had either stumbled upon the original Money Pit or a tunnel that led to untold riches. What lay beneath the surface of Oak Island? The excitement was palpable and the team was determined to uncover the secrets that lay hidden within. Join us in today's video as we delve into the thrilling search for the secrets of Oak Island and speculate on what are the mysteries this island has yet to reveal. The legendary Oak Island treasure has been shrouded in mystery for centuries, captivating the imaginations of a diverse range of people. This treasure is said to be buried on a small 140-acre island off the coast of Nova Scotia in eastern Canada, which is privately owned. Despite the many tales surrounding its origins, most people believe that the treasure hunt began in 1795, when a curious teenage boy named Daniel McGuinness stumbled upon a strange depression in the soil while out exploring during a fishing expedition. McGuinness was determined to uncover the mystery and returned the following day with friends and pickaxes in hand. Their excavation soon revealed the top of a man-made shaft covered by layers of earth that had initially caught McGuinness's attention. The island was rumoured to have been a favourite spot for pirates who roamed the East Coast and Caribbean during the Golden Age of Piracy. But as excavations went on, the discovery of a glacial tumulus on the island caused the shaft to flood with water, and the supposed treasure remained hidden. Still the legend persisted, and seekers of riches continued to flock to the island for over 225 years, expanding their search beyond the fabled money pit. But what exactly is the treasure supposed to consist of? There is no shortage of speculation when it comes to the contents of the fabled Oak Island treasure, with theories ranging from the plausible to the downright fantastic. The most popular and convincing of these theories suggests that the treasure is the hidden bounty of a notorious pirate from the Golden Age of Piracy, which spanned from around 1660 to 1730. During this period, infamous pirates like Blackbeard roamed the seas from Canada to the Caribbean, making it almost impossible for colonial powers like Spain, England and France to protect their valuable ships. In fact, it was only when the Treaty of Utrecht was signed in 1713 that concerted efforts were made to end the era of piracy in the Western Atlantic, thereby halting the nefarious exploits of the swashbuckling buccaneers. However, the most common theory surrounding the Oak Island treasure suggests that it may be none other than the buried bounty of the infamous Captain William Kidd, a Scottish pirate who terrorised the seas during the late 17th century. Legend has it that Kidd buried a massive treasure during one of his voyages, and some speculate that a portion of that loot may be hidden on the island. Interestingly, Kidd is one of the few pirate figures for whom there is actual evidence of him burying treasure a hoard he stashed away on Gardner's Island off the eastern coast of Long Island. But is the treasure on Oak Island protected by intricate booby traps, or are the supposed obstructions simply natural formations? According to geological evidence, it seems improbable that the money pit was a clandestine vault created by humans. This is because the bedrock on Oak Island is susceptible to erosion by the sea and water table, resulting in a subterranean network of faults and caverns that can cave in and form natural sinkholes. Nevertheless, the allure has lured treasure seekers to the small island. However, recently, the team of the popular TV show, The Curse of Oak Island, kept a close eye on the excavation of the B4C shaft in the Money Pit area. As the shaft approached a depth of around 90 feet in the C1 cluster, where wooden tunnels from the 15th century were found earlier this year, the team discovered higher levels of silver and gold. This exciting development led them to believe that they might have discovered either the general location of the original money pit or a tunnel that could lead them to a hidden treasure chamber. Piece by piece, the excavation team kept on digging in search of the elusive treasure. 
Amidst the dirt and rubble, they came across fragments of wood strewn around and a large iron fastener that could date back to the 1700s or earlier. However, their progress was abruptly halted when they hit bedrock at around 130 feet in the B4C shaft, leaving the team in shock and disappointment as they were hoping to delve even deeper in their quest for the treasure. Despite the setback, the team refused to give up hope and remained optimistic that they would eventually find the treasure with new technologies and innovative methods. Though their excavations for the year had come to a close, they had uncovered evidence that the treasure was still hidden somewhere beneath the surface. The clues they had discovered in the five massive steel shafts they had dug were promising, but the search for the money pit was no easy feat. Treasure hunters had been stumped by the complexity of the search for over 200 years. However, the team was determined to push on and overcome the obstacles. Their pursuit of the treasure was about more than just material wealth. It was about unravelling the enigmas and secrets of a place that had captivated the imagination of generations. Despite not yet finding what they sought, the team remained dedicated to the search and were confident that the truth would eventually be revealed. The Oak Island team may have faced disappointment during this latest excavation of the elusive money pit, but their spirits were lifted upon confirmation from scientists that there was indeed a considerable amount of precious metals buried deep beneath the surface. Determined to finally unveil the long-awaited treasure, the team persisted, uncovering new discoveries with each hole they dug. Progress was being made, and with the identification of tunnel elevations and a significant artefact, the team began to feel a glimmer of hope. A meeting with blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg provided insight into an iron spike found in the B4C shaft, revealing it to be a rock drill, likely used during the original excavation. The drill's age was estimated to be similar to that of Swedish sharpening sways found on Lot 21, once owned by Daniel McGuinness, one of the original discoverers of the money pit in 1795. The discovery of this ancient rock drill had injected a new sense of wonder and curiosity into the Oak Island treasure hunt. What secrets were hidden in the depths of the earth? What riches and artefacts lay waiting to be uncovered? Each clue and artefact was like a puzzle piece, helping to solve the enigma of Oak Island. But the quest was far from over. The Money Pit was a complex and challenging mystery, and it would require groundbreaking technology and innovative techniques to finally unlock its secrets. But the team was determined to continue the search, driven by the thrill of adventure and the allure of the unknown. With each passing season, they came closer to the truth. What other wonders lay buried on this mysterious island waiting to be discovered? The world watched with anticipation as the Oak Island team pressed on, undeterred by the challenges they faced. Even though they hadn't yet uncovered the legendary treasure, their remarkable discoveries over the years were a testament to their dedication and perseverance. In the early days of the Money Pit excavations, a mysterious discovery baffled Rick and Marty Legina. At a depth of 60 feet, they found a substantial amount of coconut fibre, despite the nearest coconut trees being 1,500 miles away. Some theorise that the fibres were used to create rope, possibly to lower treasures. Meanwhile, the team was stumped by other puzzling finds, such as the ancient stone paved area in the middle of the swamp that could date back to 1200 AD, and the 500-year-old stone road in the southeastern corner of the swamp that led nowhere. In a neighbouring borehole, they found a piece of chain coupled with bone, leading some to believe that the treasure's slaves were chained and buried alive to guard the vault with their vengeful spirits. However, the rock drill found in the B4C shaft mentioned previously was the most fascinating discovery, with the potential to date back to the mid-15th century. If Carmen's analysis was correct, it would align with the time when the fabled treasure was supposedly buried. After all these years, could the team finally be closing in on the treasure? The stone paved area, the stone road and the rock drill could all be vital clues to its location. As they prepared to leave the island, Rick, Marty, Gary and the team pondered the hidden secrets beneath the surface. Was the treasure still waiting to be uncovered or had they been chasing a myth all along? Time would be the only one to provide answers. Nevertheless, one thing was for sure the Oak Island mystery remained unsolved. The quest for treasure on Oak Island had consumed Rick and Marty Legina for over a decade. With each new discovery, their excitement grew, fueling their belief that they were edging closer to the long-lost riches. 
Despite facing setbacks, the team never lost faith, and their unwavering determination to uncover the truth kept them pushing forward. But their journey was about more than just finding gold. It was about unraveling the mystery of Oak Island and inspiring others to chase their dreams. Now as they neared the end of their epic search, the Legina brothers had become a symbol of resilience and hope, proof that anything is possible with hard work and perseverance. Do you believe in the power of dreams and determination? Share your thoughts in the comments below.